hi you all this is me Essie and um as you can see I still have my twist in the twist that I did on um Saturday night I'm not sure what Saturday it was because my phone is in today's room on the charger reason being because my new Apple charger is in the car and I have another Apple charger in my dresser but I don't want to use it if you know what it means if you know and not know what it means if you understand what I'm saying because like I don't know I was just thinking like I want to use everybody else charger before I use my own charger that's like really selfish my hands are ashy but it don't matter but I'm gonna get my phone so I can tell y'all when I did the twist in my head because y'all can see these twists are old and I did um re um moisturize them and all the other stuff but yeah i'll be back okay y'all i'm back and the date of the twist were january twist been in for a while january the uh when the 19th that's a long time y'all let me make sure it's the right day. excuse me it was a saturday i know Yep, January 19th. So today is um February the 4th. So let's do uh uh one, two, two weeks. How many days? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen days. These twins have been in my hair. And I am going to insert how I pinned up my hair or maybe a pinned up style because I did pin them up, pin them up. I had them pinned pin up yesterday and then I had like this one hanging out, but whatever. And then this one right here, as you can see, I had to take it out last night and um, it had lint because you know your twists get lint in them. And then I had redid it this morning because I didn't go to bed until like last night. Last night, I had my test, my chemistry test, which was due. It was 30 questions, 32 questions, and I got all right but two. But the teacher was like, you can explain why you chose the answer. And I did because the answer that I chose was this hypothesis because the definition on the crossword puzzle was the definition. The question and definition was the same. And then about chemistry being central science I put important in medicine because we need it for conversions and all that stuff but it might be wrong but I turned in my work and um yeah so yeah so we're gonna get started on uh, twisting the hair and y'all I wanted to do my video yesterday because yesterday y'all I wore pajama pants to church nobody noticed them so I'm gonna do a separate video on that but this video is gonna be uh, a twist out or no taking down my how many day old twist 17 day old twist twist can't even talk so hello to everyone this is me sc my name is c ever and you can call me that i hope y'all having a lovely monday i'm glad that you came back to join me i hope you enjoy my videos and as always i enjoy making them and i be tripping you know like for real I don't know what I be what I be doing. I want I was gonna I was on the chair and I was about to take a nap. Then I was like, nah, I need to make a video. And then I was like, I want to go around my bike. Then I was like, nah, I need to make a video. Yeah. Anyway, one day I'm gonna take y'all along with me on my bike ride. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Depending on the weather. And y'all know I be listening to music. The song of the day is uh. Because it's really love by Luther Vandross. And yeah. Um so yeah. And yesterday, me, my mother, my aunt, and my son, we went out to eat. And we have went to Red Lobster, y'all. We no, like every Sunday my mom be like going. And I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to talk, but I know how, like, some people, like, put oil on the ends of their hair to detwist their hair, to untwist their hair. But I'm going to tell y'all, like, I don't want to be fake. I don't really do that. I just undo it. And this is going to be easy because I just, I just did it this morning, see? 
So yeah. Anyway, so we went to, um at the church. We went to Red Lobster. Me, my mom, my aunt. I wrote my mom and my aunt. Like I don't think I'm gonna do that no more because like I know I stay places a long time, but it was just too much. We was in Greenville like all day yesterday, and I was like, we went to my brother's house. And I'm like, when are we leaving? Because I gotta go take my test, and y'all need to come on. I should have brought it with me, but I didn't. Anyway, so we went to Red Lobster for Lobster Fest. And my mom and my aunt, they was like, where you want to go? And I was like, I didn't tell them to go to Red Lobster. I said, Red Lobster have Lobster Fest. Whatever, whatever the hell. So, went to Red Lobster. I guess they ain't see nothing on the menu they like. But my aunt was in the bathroom, so my mama ordered her drink. Y'all know me, I ordered my cup of ice with lemon because I bring my own yak. AKA water, and every time I ask for water, they like, Are you sure that's all you want is a cup of ice with lemon? I don't understand why they act like they don't know what a cup of ice is. I don't want y'all water because it don't taste proper. It's disgusting. Like, I don't want it. No, I got my own water. So, anyway, take him forever to bring the drinks out. And you know, they're supposed to bring out the biscuits or whatever. So, my aunt gets to the table. My mama, she don't see nothing she want. My aunt, she don't see nothing she want. I said, well, let's leave then. So, we leave. No. Before we left, my, my mother and my aunt was like, they changed their mind. They're not going to order anything. But they're going to pay for their drinks. So, they pay for their drinks. And left a tip. Anyway, the way it was acting crazy anyway. Like, he had, like he didn't know what was going on. But anyway, I didn't say nothing because I already had my water. So, I didn't care. I didn't even pour my water yet in the cup. So, then he brought some rolls out. And they paid for the drinks. And they gave him a tip. And we left. So, then we go to Mayflower. And then my crazy tip was like, because I like Mayflower. I was like, I'm going to get me some drink from here. So, I got an Arnold. Palmer, which is a sweet tea with a pink lemonade. It is so good. And me and Jocelyn shared a meal because, like, their servings are, like, enough for four people to eat off one plate. Like, for real. And I got a loaded baked potato. And uh, fried okra. A side of fries because, yeah. And I got the popcorn shrimp and the popcorn chicken. And had a nice time, y'all. After, we went to Sam's Club because there's Mayflower here. And then Sam's Club is right here. We also went to Sam's Club. So I go in there. Y'all know me. I got the Roman Randall store and explore. So my kids, they, and Zion, they was with their granddaddy in Greenville. We was all in Greenville today. Because they live on um, when. Saturday after Zion's basketball game. They didn't win the basketball game. So, um, but the other game before that, they won two games back to back. Zion team, they did good. Um, so I'm in Sam's Club, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. On the phone, I was get up, no, I was on the phone with Nayan them. They wanted to talk. I got them some juice. My stomach started hurting. I'm like, y'all, I got that up. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go to the bathroom. I have to go. I got to go. So I get out the um phone with him. I go to the I make it to the bathroom. People walking all slow in front of me. I'm like, oh lord, my stomach is like messed up. I didn't need to bring my wipes. Y'all know toilet wipes. Anyway, so I have no time to lay to wipe the toilet off. And it lay like two of them, um, the piece of papers, the toilet papers on the thing. You know what I'm talking about. The, the, the paper, the seat covers. Two of them on there. My pocketbook, I had my pocketbook, my scarf. I had to take my coat off. You know, sometimes some people have to strip when they go to the bathroom. Sometimes, but it wasn't that bad. But I had to take my coat and my scarf off. So I was like, I put it on the toilet paper thing because it didn't have no rack. It didn't have the when I went in, it didn't have a coat rack, whatever. So I'm like, Lord Jesus. So I get two pieces of the um the um 
the toilet seat covers, two pieces of them. I put them on the floor, put my pocketbook on the paper, put my coat on the pocketbook, then I put my scarf on my coat. Okay. I was in there for so long. I ain't had my wipes now. I don't like to go to the bathroom. I don't have my wipes. But anyway. So, I heard my mama. She had went to the family bathroom, which is out in the front. And I heard, and I kept hearing her voice because you know you know your mama's voice. So, I was like, okay, that's my mama. I was in the bathroom for like 30 minutes. Okay. So, I was like, silly, come here. And I gave her some toilet paper. And I told her to put me some water up there. Anyway, y'all know how that go. And I gave her some more toilet paper. told her to put some more water up there. And then I was getting her my stuff. And then I got out of there. But I was like, what? And they were, my stomach was tore to pieces. I don't know what it was. But it was like, whatever. Then went to my brother's house. Had a nice time over there. And then we came home. And I took a nap on the way home. We didn't get back home until like maybe 7.30. And I didn't watch the Super Bowl. Like, no, I it was on TV, but I was watching it. My kids were watching it. But I'm like, you know, I don't really, I'm not really into sports. Like, to tell the truth, I would rather watch Jasir and Zion play basketball than to watch uh, basketball, real basketball. And I would rather watch Jasir play his little football than to watch a Super Bowl game. Because, like, I don't get it. I don't know. I really don't get football with Jasir playing, but, yeah. But I get basketball a little bit. But basketball is almost over. But it's like, mm -mm. I didn't get it. But I ain't had time anyway because I had to um do my tests. And I hope I'm not dripping oil everywhere. It probably is. Yeah, I want to blow out so bad. I don't know what I want to do with my hair. I wish my hair was like the texture that you could put a little water up there and comb through it good and put it in a ponytail. But I don't have that kind of hair. You're not getting a ponytail. And if you get a ponytail, it's going to be like, like that. It's not going to be like a, no. Maybe I should try the scrunchie trick and all the other stuff, but I don't know though. Because, like, mm -hmm. But I do want to blow out. I want my twists. I don't know. I said I was going to straighten my own hair and then do the little two braids on the side. But as y'all can see. And I don't really pick at my hair because, like, my hair, once you pick it, it's going to get bushy and frizzy. Like, yeah, with the pick and all that stuff. But, no, no, no. Y'all see this? Do y'all see this hair? This is my hair, okay? This is my hair. <laughs> Do y'all know anything I could use on my face? My face be so dry, y'all. And it be, like, embarrassing. Like, I wash my face with Dove soap, and I know you shouldn't wash your face with soap. I didn't try everything. I did. I used to put coconut oil on my face. Olive oil on my face and it irritates my face. I'm thinking about you go to a dermatologist because like whatever I use it like irritate my face or uh don't really work. And I'll be using that rose salve, but yeah. And right here it was like it was irritated bad. So this morning I used this uh Trader Joe's nourish oil free. Anti-accent face facial moisturizer. So I used that today, and it it really you know didn't cause any irritation. So maybe I should just continue to use that. But I don't know. And it's like my face be so dry. And as soon as I crack my mouth, it's like it's just all cracked, and it's just right here and then up in here. I don't know. And baby yo baby lotion be causing chemical burns, so I can't use it. No, no. I, I had a chemical burn on my neck from baby lotion because my skin was dry and I was trying to moisturize it. And when I, uh, I wash my face in, like, hot, hot water. And when I get out of the shower, I don't, um, I rinse my face off again before I get out. And I don't, 
dry it i let the water drop itself but yeah and y'all i did um i did redo these three twists right here you can tell no yeah no it was this one one of them i know it was this one this one because this one looked crazy and um, maybe them i don't know Y'all be watching, my show is um Thursday night. Come on too late, though, for me. It is, what's the show called? Uh, Marriage Boot Camp. Hip-hop edition, I think. Or Living Hood Hip-hop or something. But it has Little Mo and her husband. Little Fizz. Soulja Boy. Nia Riley. Little Fizz, and I can't remember that girl name. Jessica Dom and her husband, her fiance, and Tammy and Walker Flocker. It is so entertaining to me. Like I'm like a hopeless romantic. I really am. I like to see people in love, and I don't be wanting people to break up. I want people to stay together, like for real. I wish everybody the best that's in love. Like work it out. Until you can't work it out no more. One day. One day. One day. See, this get this one right here. Yeah. Always chosen by romantics that are hopeless. We could make arrangements to... And if you down, who knows? I might just do you like be loving. That's on um, Wiz Khalifa. And uh, somebody else. Uh, hopeless romantic. Yeah, I was so happy when I got that 30 on my test, but I need my two points. I didn't know it's going to take this long to take out these twists, though. Maybe if you start talking so much. See, like, look at my hair, y'all. Like, I just don't want to mess up my shirt. Yeah, I was so... I didn't go to bed till like 2, 1 o'clock this morning. Yeah. And I was so tired. I did not want to get up. Mm -mm. My friend called me. She needed somebody to talk to right after I got off the phone. Well, not off the phone. Off the um, off my test. And he was talking for like an hour and some change. And I came in the hell and I went to bed. I had a little sore throat, but thankfully it's like clearing up. Thankfully. And if you down, who knows? I have a meeting with Justice teacher at three thirty today, and she called me to ask me was I coming. Oh yes, ma'am, I'm coming. And she was like, do you want to dress you to ride a bus today, Kara, or stay? First I said ride a bus, but then I'm going here to stay. Because, you know, like, yeah, because, you know, sometimes kids be telling little stories and all that stuff. You know, I don't put that past my children. I also back them up, but I don't back them up when they wrong. But, yeah. It's about his reading. He doesn't care to read, but he has to. They say when be like Dr. Martin Luther King, and I told him, you need to be reading it. His behavior is good. Thank you, Jesus. And if you down, who knows? I might just do you like me loving. I'm still wearing my waist trainer, okay? Don't get it twisted. I only keep it off one day a week. And if you may guess, that will be on Sunday, you know, because I'm not about to go to church. With no waist trainer on. I mean, I could, but I don't know what to wear with it. Because I have slacks. It ain't gonna fit. My dress ain't gonna look right. So, no. No, no. I do take a break once a week. But, seven days a week. Okay. I let it air out at night. Watch it. Let it air out at night. And, um, morning time. Let's suit up, baby. Let's suit up, baby. No, 
don't know how long it's gonna last because uh, it's gonna be like a pancake. Like a pancake. Yo, now Zion is the only one in the house that could cook pancakes good. I can't cook no pancakes. I don't know who taught him how to cook pancakes. He is an expert in cooking pancakes. So he got mad at me on Saturday. Yep, mm hmm, on Saturday before his game. And I asked him to cook me some pancakes. But he didn't want to because he had an attitude. So I cooked my own pancakes. The same batter now. No, he did cook me a pancake, but just still wanted it. So I ate a little piece of the pancake, and then I had to cook my own pancake because I had Zion to cook me some more. But he was like, no, he went, he had an attitude. So the same batter, the same griddle, the same butter. Tell me why them pancakes taste like, um, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Maybe I let them cook too long. Like, I don't know. No, they taste like rubber. They was like, I don't know. Zion is the pancake expert. The pancakes was nasty. The only thing I could eat of the pancakes I cooked was the crust, the outer edges. Now, that was crispy. But the inside, no, no, no. And Zion would not help me. Mm -mm. But then he got out right because he gave me his Sprite and his own. No, he didn't give me his Skittles because I told him don't give me his candy. He doesn't have to, but that's his choice. Like, he always give me a snack. But he was all right at the word. And I, and I hid the Xbox um, power cord from them. And I don't know where it said. I hid it from myself, as I do all the time. I'm going to find it, because I promised him he could play his game. Since he was good. But anyway, yeah. And y'all, somebody said something to me. They told me something Friday. And I was like, okay. And I asked about it. They said they were going to do something for me Friday. And I said, okay. So I asked them about it today. Because if I didn't, I, and I know the person. If I didn't ask the person, they wouldn't have said it. But that Friday, I didn't say nothing about it. They just volunteered, so whatever, whatever. So Monday morning, I asked them, was he still going to do what they said it was going to do on Friday? They said no. Something came up. Whatever. And I, I didn't say nothing, y'all. I am so proud of myself. I did not say nothing to them. Why you lie to me? Why you ain't tell me? Why you, I, mean, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I just read the message. And I deleted it. And I just kept on going. I'm proud of myself. Like, that's what I need to do. Like, just shut up. Just, just shut up. Because it's like, yeah, ain't nothing else to say. Okay, just shut your mouth, girl. Sometimes it don't be worth it to even say that because it's really love. Oh yeah, let me tell y'all something. If y'all have not done y'all taxes yet, or if you do y'all do y'all tax at home, or if you haven't done your taxes, free tax USA. This is not a pay advertisement. They don't pay me nothing, so don't think that. Free tax USA. Free tax USA. Free tax USA.com is the best, my experience, my opinion, tax preparer to use home self for real. All you need is your W 2 forms, your information, and you can do it yourself at home. I've been doing my taxes myself. Today is 13. This will be 12 years that I've been doing my own tax because the first year she was born. My mother's friend did my taxes. But yes. Because I'm not paying nobody no $100, $200, $300, $400. $400. I don't need no tax refund. Like, now nah, I'm not back it up. I don't need no tax refund. I don't need no advance on my tax refund. I can wait for my money. Like, and I think other people can too. Maybe they can't, but yeah. You had to wait all year anyway, baby. So you can just, you know. And it's, your money going to be back with, with two weeks or less. Like, you know, but whatever, to each his own. But if you do your tests at home or you want to do them, anybody can do them. I didn't go to school for taxes. I didn't. It's like self-explanatory. You, It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Or your tax, or doing your W-2 form is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then your state box right there. And you just fill it in. For real. 
free text USA. You can do it for free. Don't cheat yourself free. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. The um the federal is free and you just have to pay twelve ninety five for the state. But they have a coupon code where you get ten percent off. So you're only paying uh eleven sixty five or something like that. Or some I don't know, but yeah. So yeah, for real. Like no. I don't be seeing it. But you can't tell certain people that. And I ain't trying to take a hustle from nobody. I'm just saying, don't let nobody charge you no $200, $300 for your taxes. And you can do them yourself for $12 at the most. No. No, baby girl. No, baby boy. But you can't tell people that. Because people going to do what they want to do anyway. I think I might be like 10 more or, yeah. And I'm just um putting oil on the braids. I don't be usually doing this. I'm maybe like doing this for y'all. I ain't being explaining because I'm talking so much. I'm going to try to show y'all this one. Can y'all see? Because I can't see what y'all can see. I hope y'all can see. And I don't, like, yeah. I don't follow rules and they don't like that. Mm. Y'all, sometimes I be untwisting my hair and then I be like, Fill it through my hair, and it's still a piece of hair that's twisted. It's still a twist in there. It would be better if I could move that mirror over here and it would go back in my head, maybe. Okay, baby. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> my that's why I don't text back. Yeah, um, I put my um red receipts on my phone because it's like I don't even care. I want you to see when I read the message for iPhone users. I want you to see when I read your message. And let them reply back when I feel like it. And if I don't want to reply, I won't. And you can see that I read it. And I ain't taking it off of you. Cause I ain't got his on too. But Zion always has on today. No, she don't. Cause I guess today don't care. And I'm not the type of person that can sit and have messages in my phone and I don't read them. Just have numbers. Like I can't stand it. I can't stand for my inbox to just be having numbers. Like I gotta read it and clear it out. Like that stuff be irritating the freak out of me. I don't like to have no call log. I'm not sneaky cause I'm single. It has always been that way. It's just like, I feel like cluttered when I have like a lot of text on my phone or a lot of stuff. Like, if it's important, I can remember it or I save it somewhere. But in that, no, I can't. Like, when I be seeing people, like, they screenshot they whatever they phone, it be, it, it be irritating me. Like, how do you, I just cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Who puts on lotion? I put on lotion yesterday. I didn't put none on today. Because sometimes Tommy getting away from me. So what did I do? I got ready. I got in the shower. And then I got my clothes off for school. And then I went to school. And I got to school. In my class at 9, 8.59. Uh -oh. Look, the Van Dross be singing, y'all. Do y'all know that?
sometimes it be a tangle. But, um, yeah. Sometimes I don't get all the twists. My hands are still greasy. Because it's love. Because it's all the way. Justin wants braces on his big teeth. And I told him that he needs to wait until his teeth grow in. Because he still got teeth falling out. And he still got his little baby tooth that hasn't come down yet. I like big teeth, little big teeth. Because it's love. I think I'm finished, I think. No, I am not. Maybe I could be now. Could it be the most beautiful claim to see? When people tell me I cannot sing, guess what I don't do? I don't cry because I don't care. You can't sing either. Oh, yes, honey, guys. So, I still have this in here, but I think I'm going to leave this. But I'm going to untwist this because it's, like, still braided a little bit. So, it won't come all the way out. Maybe I should have left it in. I don't know. And this is how I do my twist out. Like I said, I do not, like, pick the roots and all that stuff. Because once I do that, it's over. Because of my hair type. Somebody stop me. Y'all know that black man on, um, my name is Earl. I have, a. Uh, a twist out and I look just we have the same hair style my name is Earl I don't know what his name was that used to be my show my name is Earl I used to love that show can y'all see this and it's like all untwisted I think if, if y'all see a twist in there tell me but yes and this braid twist right here don't want to cooperate. I don't know what you're doing. You want to stand up? Oh, no. Like, it don't be looking like I have a lot of hair, but, uh, I don't know. So, y'all, and look at this. It's already frizzed and bushy. That's what I'm talking about, and it don't even look right. Maybe I should twist this back up. Yeah, I'm going to twist this back up. And then, I'm going to untwist it later. Because, yeah, it, it, ain't, it ain't there yet. It's not there yet. I don't know what happened, but it's not there. And I have these um, tuck combs. I don't really have a lot. And I usually, um, I'll show y'all. Like, um... 
I might don't use it the correct way. That's how I do it because they hurt. And then, like, you can tuck your hair or whatever like that. But it don't hurt right now. But, like, when my hair is straight, that thing hurt bad. And I gave most of them away because they was hurting me. But I had to look presentable to this um, teacher parent conference. <laughs> okay. I know it's going to mess up my bed. I just knew it, honey. Girl, you need something on this. Because it's love. I'm not going to put no water up here, though. What do y'all do for tenderheadedness? You just have to be gentle because it's like. Mm, feel like popcorn back there. Y'all still was warming up some food last night in the microwave. And it was sound like popcorn. I told him he better go take that mess out that day on microwave. <laughs> I think it was that popcorn shrimp that he was warming up. But it sounded exactly like a bag of popcorn. I remember who was younger. And I don't know if it was me or my cousin. I think it was my cousin. He is a year older than me. It's still at my grandma's house. And one day, she got us something to eat from Wendy's. And back, a long, back, in, back in the years, like a long time ago, Wendy's, they used to have the aluminum foil wrappers, and they still have them now. They, they have them now. But he had put the wrapper in the um, microwave <laughs> to warm his um, sandwich up. And I don't know if I knew that he was supposed to do it or not. I don't remember, but he put the, the paper wrapper in the microwave, and the microwave, it's stopped working or it blew up or something it didn't catch on fire or maybe it did a little bit but i think it was right there so yeah <laughs> so yeah then another time i used to love kit kat bars and we was some we was at piggly wiggly no kmart my mama left us in the car me and my cousin we was old enough to stay in the car <laughs> And she was like, she'd be right back. <laughs> yeah, I used to be, like, really bad. <laughs> I used to do some some, some stuff. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> he had my Kit Kat bar because he liked to tease me. I don't be bothering him. Maybe I did because I wouldn't have, um, play with him all the time. He used to play with, um, he used to have wrestlers. The, you know, the rubber wrestler men. And he didn't want me to play with his stuff. So, my mama had to buy me. She didn't have to, but she did. Bought me some wrestlers. So, I could play with him. He had a ring and everything. And, um, I could play with him. But he still don't want to play with him. Even if I had my own toys, he was just mean to me. Most of the time. Sometimes I didn't play with him. Most of the time, no. Anyway. So, he took my Kit Kat bar. And I said, give me my Kit Kat bar back. And he did not do it. And I was like, you better give me my Kit Kat bar. I'm going to roll your head up in the window. So, he took my Kit Kat bar and he was swinging out the window, swinging out the window. So, what I did, <laughs> he had his, <laughs> he had his, I think he had his head or his neck or whatever out the window with, with, with my Kit Kat bar, his arm, his hand, and my mother said when she came out of the store <laughs> i had rolled his head up in the window and his arm was hanging out the window with my kit kat bar in it my mama told me up mm -mm -mm. she told my behind up another time was at uh i think the place was called it was a grocery store where in washington where bill's hot dogs and 
the little mall places, whatever. It's a grocery store. I'm not sure the grocery store name, but my aunt had an Oldsmobile. It was a nice Oldsmobile, y'all. She had dark tint, and then like at the top of the roof, she had some gold pins because I guess the the roof or the tech in the roof had came down. It was so nice. I used to think I was in like a spaceship or something, and stars at the top of the ceiling. It was nice. Anyway, it was Val's toy on the front of her car. It was me, my baby sister, and my cousin. So, some kind of way, I don't know who did it. I don't think I did it. I really don't. I don't know who did it. But we blamed it on my little baby sister. She was in pamper. I remember that. It was me and my cousin. We were sitting in the car. <laughs> so, I don't know who hit the reverse. Because, you know, like, the cars had, like, the gear was on the stern wheel. All I know is, we was, like, where Bill's house was. We was right, right in front of the store, in the car. And some kind of way, whoever reversed the car, the car had backed up slowly. And it didn't hit nobody else's car. It just stopped, thank the Lord. It didn't hit nobody's car. It didn't damage nobody's car. But me and my cousin, I don't know who did it. Me and my cousin blamed that on my sister. <laughs> she didn't get in trouble because she was a baby. But me and my cousin, my mom tore us up. And then I remember another time. So, y'all see my twist. Another time. Uh, I don't know what I had did. But. um, What did I do, Sierra? Come on. Um, I don't know what I did. Because I, I used to have a lot of mouth. Like, I had a smart mouth, and I used to always be talking back to my mama. And I used to always get in trouble. But I still did. Anyway, so one day, she, I don't know what happened. She told me to do something. I remember standing at the front door. And she told me to do something. I don't know what happened. I stand at the front door, and all I remember is she whooped me, and I went to bed. I went, went and laid down. I didn't wake up till the next day. And it was like, not late, it wasn't late at night, it was in daytime. I got a whoop, I went and laid down. I didn't wake up till the next day. <laughs> I missed lunch, dinner, everything. And then I was like, why y'all ain't wake me up? <laughs> I guess they didn't care. <laughs> they said you need to be asleep. Mama beat me so bad. Well, she didn't beat me that bad, but she told my behind up. I went to sleep and slept all day. It was it happened in the middle of the day. I missed dinner. I was mad too. I remember I was mad. I went in my room because we had bunk beds. Me and my cousin we had bunk beds, and I went in my room and I went to sleep. And I ain't get up to the next day. I used to stay in trouble because of my mouth. That was the most part. My mom always said your mouth gonna get you in trouble. She always told me that. Yes, she did. All right, y'all. Um, this is my twist out. It ain't all that, but this is what I do. Okay. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for all the love and support. As always, make sure that you be you and you be true. And when y'all go to a restaurant, you don't be scared to ask for a cup of ice. If you like lemon, get a cup of ice with lemon. Bring your own bottle of water. If you drink bottled water, bring your own water. Because that water don't be tasting proper. To me, the water tastes like it came out the toilet. Tap water. I ain't never had no toilet water, but you can smell water and you know it don't taste good. Because you can smell something. And I didn't frizz that out. See, that's why I don't, you know, but it was something at the bottom. But anyway, yeah. And I still had the braid in here, and I just twisted it. And I hope I don't, um, I hope I ain't got another twist back there somewhere. But if I do, all right, I'm going to show y'all. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Okay. This is not a booger. It's the back to my nose ring. I like backs on my nose ring because uh, I'll be doing too much and it be done fell out. 
I do have some that you just stick in. But like I be saying, when I wake up in the morning, they are nowhere to be found. So I'm out of here. I'm going to get this video up for y'all today. The current time is 1.44, y'all. 1.44, Monday. See? Let me make sure because it's too bright. One forty four Monday, February the fourth. Because it's look, I gotta take a, a picture though for the you know. <laughs> Y'all Luther Vandross voice is just incredible. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. You love for me to be yours. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm gone. I love y'all. I'm out of here because I'll start singing. And I don't even know order. And then, yeah, I got to go. I was blind when they crossed me. Y'all heard that? Maybe not. Maybe. I'm out of here for real. Peace and love. Be you and be true. Peace. I got to paint my nails too, y'all. I'm going to paint my nails for y'all one day. I got to cut them and paint them. But anyway, I'm out of here. Peace and love. You know what? Nobody. Cause listen, cause listen. Nobody. You know what?